What's up everybody, the Poets here, and we're gonna be talking about water cooling a bit in terms of getting this block ready to be installed into Deep Blue as its second system. So before we get into that, I just wanna say you know, a big humongous thank you to all of the peaceful protesters that are out there. Uh, I peacefully protested as well here in Los Angeles and Hollywood actually. And uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, so much just positive energy and um, a, a lot of friendly interactions uh, with the local police force here in LA as well uh, during these uh, peaceful protests. So thank you everybody around the world that has been peacefully protesting. You're setting a great example for how to bring about positive change. So with that being said, um, let's get into some uh, water cooling. So I've named this PC Deep Blue. So let me know in the comments if you know exactly where that name originated from. But its next evolution is going to be adding a second PC inside of it. So right now there's a Threadripper 3970X, so that has 32 cores, 64 threads, 64 gigs of RAM. And I need to add a second system so that when I'm in the BIOS overclocking this main system, I can do some type of video capturing and audio capturing, because you can't do that when you're in the BIOS for you know, the, the main system. So that's where this comes to play. This is a water block by EKWV, it's the Velocity Water Block, and I have this on my 8700K, and that chip is kind of like a golden chip. Even I deleted it, and it also has an aftermarket copper IHS, and I'll do a separate video on that to really kind of show you what that's all about. But with this water block here by EKWV, I was able to overclock that chip to 5.4 gigahertz. So adding a second system into Deep Blue here is going to allow me some one redundancy. So if something goes down within the main system, I also have a second system. Come here, Louie. Hi. My tech support showed up. So basically I'm going to open this up because it needs to be properly cleaned before I use it again. It's gone through two different types of fluid, both by EKWB, but one's a pastel and one's a concentrate. So. Uh, there's probably gunk in here and it's been kind of dried as well because I haven't used this in a little while. This is an excellent water block by EKWB. Really happy with this, happy to be using this again. And uh, let's get to cleaning. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to do this with Louie in my lap, apparently. A water block here can actually fit different size fittings. Huh. Uh, these are by EKWB as well. These are 16 outer diameter uh, for hardline tubing. And basically they just screw in like this and then I can put all my tubes and kind of design the system the way I want. So we need to open this up because I can, I can already see that there's a kind of blue stain in here. So I have used two different types of fluid within deep blue back there. This one is by uh, EK, it's the Cryofuel Solid Azure Blue. I actually really like the color of this, but it is thick. It's kind of it's a pastel, basically uh, concentrate, and um, it takes a lot more work to clean, <laughs> to say the least. And then this is what's inside of Deep Blue right now. This is the Navy Blue uh, EKWB uh, Cryo Fuel. I really like this a lot because you can actually uh, kind of create your own formula to get the look you want. Now, in between using these two different styles of fluid, I did not take the time to clean this water block. I was just being lazy and I was kind of pressed for time as well. So it is definitely time. The 8700K is actually in this system right here. It does have 64 gigs of RAM and it's on the Gigabyte Aorus Master uh, motherboard Z390. So it's, it's working as a champ, but putting it inside Deep Blue is just gonna make things more efficient for me. So before we crack this open, there's always gonna be some things that you need. You need some uh, ideally distilled water, filtered water, I guess, but you know, there's plenty of distilled water for cheap in grocery stores. Uh, gonna use some toothpaste, you know, something that has a, a little bit of abrasiveness, but not too much, and then a soft toothbrush. So let's just go ahead and open this up. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. I just like using toothpaste. I mean, if it's good for my teeth, it's good for a water block that's made of metal. So it just takes these like little wrenches here and let's go to town and open this up. Yeah, see all that? Even Louis disgusted. So you can see here that these are the fins and they are completely covered in blue gunk there. And then this is the jet plate that actually distributes the water to the fins. And you can see that this needs to be scrubbed as well. 
So first things first, uh, you have to pay attention to these rubber O-rings right here. I'm gonna just take this off very, very carefully, not to damage it. And then set this aside. So this needs to be thoroughly cleaned. So I'm gonna be kinda lazy, just kinda dump it in here. Get the initial wetness going. And just kinda gently go back and forth to try to get the main stuff off. It's not glamorous work, but somebody's gotta do it. Look at that, just from a little bit, it goes a long way already. So now let's get some deep cleaning going. What do they say, use a pea size? from the dentist and before I get into it too deeply I just want to spread this toothpaste around and just be very gentle and just kind of let the toothpaste do the work you don't have to scrub too hard So with this water block, I had to be very careful because you can see there's RGB attached to it. And right now, it looks like it's entirely clean. Just need to dry it off and then do a final inspection. Uh, I am going to make sure that I get the inner grooves a little bit better, but so far the major parts look wonderful. The fins here, I need this to dry a little bit more so I can better determine if I really got in there because the water is kind of all in those fins. They're kind of fine. They're not as fine as like the Threadripper water block fins, but uh, these are kind of nice. And then this is the jet plate and this is nice and clean right now as well. So just need all this to dry and I'll do a second coating of washing if I need to. So with the rubber rings here, all you have to do is just kind of wipe them down with a a wet paper towel. You don't really need to scrub at all. You don't want to tear these or damage these in any way, shape or form, because this is what's keeping all of the liquid uh, away from your electronic components. So this is very, very important. So this kind of a uh, cavern right here, this is where the, you know, the rubber ring goes. And there was actually some of this uh, blue stuff, you know, this, uh, the, the more solid stuff that was in here even though I've been using the, the concentrate in this for a much longer time. So that's why the pastels can be a bit troublesome because you really have to get in here and I'm kind of having to use my fingernail to get into this groove to make sure I get all of it out. So the toothbrush did the major stuff, but sometimes you just need to get in there with your fingernail as well. So overall, I'm pleased. This is looking good. The bracket goes right on here. Nice and snug. The fins, make sure they're this way, not up and down, because you want to make sure as the water comes through here, the water is getting dispersed properly. And then I like to kind of crisscross the screws in terms of the amount of pressure because you do not want any leaks whatsoever. So this water block is ready to go. We have success. It is ready for the 8700K to be put inside of deep blue. And that'll be a separate video, obviously. But I also have a little treat. This is my new Threadripper 3 water block by Optimus. This thing is incredible. It has 225 fins. And so this is going to replace the EKWB water block that's in there. 
So right now I'm in the middle of testing everything I can with the EKWB water block in terms of temperatures and all that stuff. And then I'm going to be installing the Optimus water block here and do the same testing and kind of a punch out. We're gonna see which one's the winner. This is very nice, very high end. I ordered this in December. I finally got it and not only did Optimus um, do an exceptional job on there, but they sent me updated hardware as well. So it'll just make things more you know, efficient for the uh, style of water block that they have here. So if you wanna see that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Feel free to hit a like if you like this video and wanna see more like this. And if you have any questions on anything that I just did here, please just put those in the comments below. Uh, definitely enjoy talking to everybody in the comments and thank you very much everybody on this journey of Deep Blue's evolution. Please stay safe out there. If you're out there protesting, please you know do it peacefully. And I thank you so much for doing that peacefully. So have a good one guys, peace.